Um, oh, LeBron James. Okay, so we know that uh, Drake and LeBron James has a has like a you know a friendship, right? So let's just let's just do like a little research. LeBron James and Drake friendship. I'm, I'm sure somebody got a video about this of how well well uh, apparently that friendship has has end right uh um drake had has done an interview with um lebron james at the barbershop i forgot what that little episode that that little thing was i think it was like in the barbershop i forgot what it was but we all know the relationship drake and um lebron james had you know um this is a picture over here you see lebron james you know they've been cool for for quite a while but just recently, right, when Kendrick Lamar popped up, did his pop out concert, LeBron James was there and he was singing the lyrics to Not Like Us. Right. Let's uh, let's go to that. LeBron James sing Not Like Us. And, you know, Tinder Dick. Uh, Drake, you know, definitely saw this and, you know, got in his feelings. Right. So, you know, I guess I guess uh, Drake took offense to that. Right. And now LeBron James, you know, trying to trying to, you know, uh, he was there celebrating a couple of times. Matter of fact, him and matter of fact, LeBron James and Curry had like a little had a little uh, a little talk about the song. Not like us. Right. Curry said that he didn't like it. Right. Curry said that, man, I'm tired of y'all playing this song. But LeBron's like, nah, man, I like this song. Right. After every Team USA win so far, they- All right, hold on. I'm just gonna get to here. Go. See? So, so Curry said, "Man, I'm tired of this song. Is this the only song that they playing?" But Kendrick, I mean, but um, LeBron James said, "No, nah, I love this song." And you know the relationship that LeBron James and Drake, you know, I guess used to have. So I guess you know Drake was in his feelings, and now it seemed like you know Drake. Unfollowed LeBron James. Matter of fact, let's uh check. Let's check on Instagram. Let's see. Is is Champagne Poppy still following LeBron James? Let's just uh let's just double check. Let's just double check. LeBron James, LeBron James. Is he still following LeBron James or no? Nope. No, oh, he ain't following King James. Hold on. What's LeBron James Instagram name? I don't know. His maybe maybe it's a different Instagram chain. LeBron James IG. What's LeBron James? King James. Okay, it's King James. All right, so, so let me put King James. Is he still following? Oh, he ain't following LeBron. <laughs> He's not following LeBron James. All right. So, yeah. So his his Instagram name is King James. And uh, if you type in King James, he's not a friend on uh, <laughs> on Champagne Poppy's Instagram. Right. He go, he go Champagne Poppy Drake. You just click on here and then you can see who he's following. Just type their name. But, you know, you put in King anything. It don't pop up. So obviously uh, Drake felt some type of way of uh lebron james liking kendrick's song so uh apparently they're not friends no more so i, I found this video to be kind of funny right here and let's go through it all right um by the thing where's that video man? all right here we go no longer f- with drake now what specifically lebron and lebron no longer f- with drake now what specifically happened we don't know bro but it must have happened behind the scenes but it really all started when lebron popped out to the not like us concert exactly. rapping along and dancing <laughs> lebron has been seen on multiple occasions dancing to this song <laughs> Nah, bro. Nigga, I got a man tatted on my arm and he's over here like certified level one certified. That's crazy too, man. Just, just, just how dumb. Look how dumb you are, bro. You got a man tatted on you. And I did a whole video about that, right? I did a whole video about how Drake has LeBron James tatted on his arm. So you're going to unfollow him and you think that's going to do something. That nigga's still on your arm, though. What you going to get a, a <laughs> are you going to cover his tattoo on you? Even if you cover his tattoo, he still won't be on you. Even if you come up that tattoo, that nigga still gonna be on you. <laughs> now, hell no, nigga. Where is your friends? Bro, I tatted your face. Nigga, I tatted a portrait on me, and you dancing that I'm a pedophile. Bro, yo, LeBron should be checking every yo yo. When I'm in the arena, that song don't play. Facts. That's my man's. He got me tatted on him. That's my man's. Give me rock releases. 2012. We party in Miami when I won my first trip. 
Bro, bro, you a foul nigga, gang. You a foul nigga. <laughs> but then it got even worse when Steph Curry was like, I'm so tired of this song. Right. And LeBron went out of his way to say this. I love it. LeBron is a snake. Worry about. I think LeBron is a snake a little bit. Hang on. My personal opinion. I don't know what he thinks. How is LeBron James a grown ass man? If if he want to rap a song, rap rap the lyrics to a song, he could do that. Man, these 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 niggas act like they in some type of cult or something like that. What y'all need to be saying is like Drake. Why the fuck you got LeBron James tattoo on you? Y'all worried about LeBron James singing a song, but y'all ain't asking Drake. Yo, why the fuck you put LeBron on your arm, bro? <laughs> Yo, 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 80. Hold on. I'll explain Hello. it. I'll explain it very, in very short and sweet analogy. If for whatever reason I felt I owe 80 enough loyalty and I had so much love for him to tattoo him on my body and somebody made a song about me being a pedophile. Nah, that ain't, that ain't no loyalty. That's certified weirdo. Certified lover boy, certified weirdo. That's weirdo activities. That's sus activities. Nah, matter of fact, I would not want to be nobody's friend if they tapped me on them and I'm still living. I wouldn't feel comfortable. I'm over here dapping him, him up and I see me on him. No, nah, I don't feel comfortable. Nah, we ain't friends no more. Matter of fact, right, right when you get me tatted on you, yeah, our friendship just ended. Hell no. Nah. That's weird. And he was there at the show dancing to it, celebrating it. Then it comes up two months later at a basketball game and say 80 plays basketball. And then somebody says to him, damn, I'm tired of this song. He says, nah, I love it. I will look at 80 and say, you're fucking disloyal too. Like, come on, bro. Like, God damn it. Yo, yo, you're, you're not the guy who I fuck with. Like, yo, come on. Well, no, but nah, this is crazy, LeBron. You love a song that's calling Drake a pedophile? Now, we all know Drake and LeBron used to be tight, bro. I'm talking about Drake donated money to LeBron's school and all types of shit. I've been trying to figure out what I can do, Drake. You know, obviously, I think at this moment, so I'm going to. Look, um, obviously, LeBron must know some. It ain't just a song. Maybe what if the song is true? Yeah, you got to disassociate with your, with, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, LeBron, keep the kids away. Curry, keep the kids away. Y'all heard Drake, I mean, y'all heard Kendra say, keep the family away. Keep the kids away. Yeah, he was talking. He said LeBron. He said Curry. He said a whole bunch of names to keep the kids away, keep the family away. Uh, myself, Eddie from State. We're gonna dedicate a uh, million dollars to that. I'm just gonna go and drop it on myself. Of course, we're gonna love. Wow. wow. <laughs> But I don't know what's going on, bruh. And then Drake took to Instagram and posted Curry, Kevin Durant, and Shea Gidgeous Alexander. But no LeBron. Mm. Now, for what reason would he not post LeBron? <laughs> This literally confirms that they are not on good terms. Damn it, bro. I guess Aww. LeBron is really keeping the family away. Hey, LeBron, keep the family away. Curry, keep the family away. And I just said that, right? I, I just said it. You can tell that this is actually hurting Drake, bro, because Drake will even tell you himself that LeBron is one of those people that are just highly respected. I wanted to do other things. I didn't want I didn't want to further your reputation or your career by rapping back at you and having this exchange. And and that was it for me. Drake takes you like I'm letting you down. Yeah, what I tell you. What did you say to him? You said, you said, you said that, that I can never like let, let you down. I'm watching the most playing the coast. Aw, poor little Tink Tink. Aw. Everybody, everybody put all for Drake. Oh, is your feelings hurt? Oh, poor little baby. So now, since, you know, he don't want to be LeBron James fan no more, now he's he's a Curry Curry fan. You know, well, I like Curry, too. That's, that's, that's nothing bad. But, you know, he don't want to be cool with uh, Lamar. I mean, with um, LeBron James. But we got Drake is Team USA. Hooper's favorite uh, admits that Curry, Kendrick Lamar remarks. OK, so let's see. What, what is this? Who would have guessed that Drake would be overwhelmed? A uh, favorite amongst the U.S. team player battle rap with Kendrick Lamar. OK, what does this mean, though? Is there some type of video or something? What is this? This is weird. Uh, of course, da, 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 Drake and Ephraim, but one single player in the video mentioned Kendrick Lamar. Uh, Derek White uh, actually said that J. Cole is his GOAT when it comes to his warm-up playlist. Kind of weird, honestly. The post quickly went viral with fans and media outlet alike speculating on the significance of Drake's universal appeal amongst the basketball elites. Uh, Durant, Booker, and Tatum seem to be jamming out to Drake hits from God's plan and laugh now cry, cry later okay um this is weird I don't know why you got why you got two men together that are they going on a date or something that that that, that picture looks a little sussy dusty I don't understand that but okay however da 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 express not like us yeah we already read that um okay I think that's it all right well yeah that's it for that all right so I thought that was funny that um Drake is, uh, you know, no longer wants to be LeBron James fan because he's singing the lyrics to a rap.